Hey, Cancer. So we're going to do your, um, what is this called? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yeah, your update. So this is going to be an update on your situation. So this is going to be general. Only take what makes sense to you. If it doesn't, it could be somebody else in your energy field, as I call it. I don't know. I say it different every time. Um, but it also can apply to male or female. doesn't matter. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what's going on with you guys. <clears throat> These are going to be real quick just so we can get straight into the point. Um, and that's pretty much it. So what is going on with Cancer Spirit? What is going on with Cancer and their energy right now? What's going on? These are coming out quick. So we have come to the edge. So this is like kind of like you guys are being guided away from something. Some of you are running from love, a love situation, um, or feel that love is not for you. So it's kind of like doomsday, as I call it. <laughs> Some of you are running away from it to protect yourself. Or you feel like that is protecting yourself. Um, we have all that glitter. So some of you could have had a bad experience thinking that somebody who was who they said they were, but they really were hiding themselves um, because we have mask here on top of gold. So it looked it looked good and it uh, felt good. But this person was hiding some stuff. Look at this. This could have been somebody that you had living with you because on this next one, it says no place like home and like that same glitter color light is coming out of it. So some of you could have lived with this person or you could have just wanted this person out of your life. Um, so yeah, let's see what's going on with this situation. Cancer. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know about this situation? What does Cancer need to know about this situation? So we have manipulation. Okay. So manipulation, painting pictures, and her shirt says karma. Let me two cards. No, one more card. I'm sorry. And online dating. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this card has been coming out like for the past couple of readings. This card has been coming out. And like I said, it makes sense because we are in an age where online dating is very popular right now because of the social distancing situation. But I feel like this is somebody that you met online, um, whether it be through some type of dating app, social media platform. And this person made, you, made themselves appear a certain way to you for whatever reason. They tried to hide or act like, you know they were cool they were on the same page as you but this person was hiding stuff and obviously we have manipulation here so someone was trying to make it appear like they were good when they really weren't um karma is here so this possibly was a lesson for you to learn or you could have been a lesson for this person um but definitely this person was very um secretive about certain things this person probably liked to drink a lot um they sold you a dream is what I just heard. So, what's the tea, bitch? <laughs> and unattractive behavior. So, yeah, this person had something you didn't like. You were watching this person. You possibly had your whole family watching them. Um, other people were watching this situation unfold to see what was going to happen. This is just about nosy people. There were people. There were people that were watching and waiting and wondering what was going on with this situation. Um. Tell me more about cancer in your situation. Tell me about cancer in your situation. What's underneath that? Yeah, unattractive behaviors. But yeah, a lot of people were watching and waiting. And you were even watching and waiting to see like what was this person's next step? What were they going to do? <clears throat> what does cancer need to know about this situation? So we have three of cups in reverse. Three of Wands. It's a lot of threes. <laughs> so like a significant change. The Devil card. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this person was a manipulator for sure. And we have Nine of Pentacles. So first off, with this Nine of Pentacles, this person saw that you had your money. This reminds me of retirement. So you were building towards something. You had value that was seen 
by this person. This person seeing value in you. And because of that, they made plans with this three wands and the double card. I feel like this is a uh, peer manipulation here. They were making plans to see what they could get out of you or the situation. <clears throat> the three of cups in reverse, this person um, tried to act like they weren't into that party lifestyle, um, including third party. So this person was talking to multiple people. They tried to make it seem like, oh, that's just my job or that's just how I do. I'm not talking to anybody they really tried to paint this picture that they weren't a party person and that's why all that glitters is not gold because they were wearing masks they were hiding stuff from you and they did that because they saw value in you so they wanted to try and manipulate the situation look everything is fine this person stabbed you in the back <laughs> you feel um you feel defeated by this person you have to put on a face and act like things did not bother you when it came to this individual, King of Pentacles. This is this King of Pentacles for me is somebody that does certain things to get what they want. So maybe this person gave you money to make you make you think they had it like that, so that way you could be okay with you know taking them out or paying for dinner or something like that. But they really didn't have anything. They were just wasting money, and they just wanted to have what they wanted. They didn't have no money. And so some of you thought, is this for them? Yeah. Some of you are like, nah, I'm good. So that's why you went to the edge. You decided to run from this um, situation. Don't feel like there is no love out there for you. Because I do feel like that is out there. Yeah, you cut this person off. <laughs> um, and you basically, I feel like you cut this person off by telling them that you have a lot of options. Um, but yeah, love is going to come towards you. I just feel like you have to learn a lesson as well to get to know people and don't put your emotions into it. Cause obviously cancer is an emotion, emotional sign. It's a water sign. So we already know how water signs are and I'm not hating on you because I actually have water in my chart, mostly fire. That's probably why I'm so feisty, but I do have a lot of water. I mean, I have water in my, um, moon and rising sign. So what does, uh, dang, this just came out. I'm going to give you guys another one. Why do things have to be this way? So this is you guys' energy. You're wondering why do I always have to get the short end of the stick? Why when I'm such a good person? Give me another card for um, cancer, please. Another card for cancer. Another card for cancer. Oops. Ooh. Okay, we're going to take that one. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, <laughs> this is you guys' energy again. So yeah, you guys are like, why does it have to be? So I feel like a lot of you are in a victim mentality right now, or this could be somebody that you have made them feel like you're in a victim mentality. I feel like there's a lot of codependency here. Maybe you have some codependent um, traits. I lied to you because I care. White lies, nothing major. So yeah, a lie is a lie, but yeah, this person lied to you about who they were. And you found out and you walked away from that um, because it was definitely a toxic situation. And this person started to take you for granted and take advantage of you. So that is the reading for. Sorry, that is you guys' uh, quick, quick energy update reading. Let me know if that made any sense for you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video.